Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today I thought I would answer the really highly requested and highly demanded video from me and pretty much the one thing I get asked every single Q&A at least once is how do I make these videos? How do I record my RuneScape? How do I edit it? What programs do I use? All the little details, all the minor sort of processes I go through just to make a video is pretty much what I'm going to try and sum up into one basic video now. I'm going to try my best to go through every single program I use, every detail, but still keep it quite simple, understandable, and hopefully quite straightforward. Um, obviously, if you need to pause the video at any time to understand something, if you're trying to learn at the same time as watching this, then obviously feel free to do so. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so this is one of my desktops here. I've moved all of my clips and all of my folders onto the other side just so you don't see all the mess and all the recorded clips I've got, stuff like that. Uh, but one for this video we're going to be using is called Quest Rewards 1, which I just got the other day. Um, but obviously, before we can even play around with a clip, we need to record it. So what I do is open up RuneScape. I use the client, as you can tell, and I have it set to 720p for recording. Now, the reason I do it in 720p is just because it runs smoother on my computer when I'm recording it, and obviously when I render it out, it'll upload for high quality for you guys to watch it which is always nice so in order to actually make it 720p you can look up the sizing stuff like that and um, you know you can mess around with it you can move it around how you want uh, but for me I use a program called sizer which is down here the four crossed arrows and what you want to do is when you load at the computer you want to just press on it that's all you got to do nothing else just press on it and it will in a minute just like go away fade away um, it doesn't actually open anything up but what it means you can do is right click on the taskbar along the top go resize or reposition and I've made these three custom sizings here but the one RS client 720 means it's going to put it in exactly how I want it. One quick tip for you guys if you are going to be using sizer to record your videos to make them 720p or whatever size you want them to be take into consideration that there is a taskbar on the outside uh, so if we click on it you can tell that it's actually 1296 by 757, not 1280 by 720. So to configure that and sort of figure it out, I sort of just played around with it till I got the right size. Um, but what you can do is just go down to this little arrow down here and size will always be open if you've pressed it when you turn the computer on. And you wanna do is right click on it and go to configure sizer. Once you've opened that, I go on to 720 uh, client, like I told you guys, and you just input the width the height there and you can rename it whatever you want it's not going to change the size of it I could call it anything I wanted to um, this 720 here is for browser and this is what I actually find quite useful if you're using Opera I think it was uh, it's this size here but for client which I know most people do use um, if you're trying to record it it's this size here so obviously you can take that away from this so you don't have to play around with it uh, but if you find that you want to change the size anytime you just do it in this part here hit OK and then you know you can just move it around however you want then go ahead right click it resize and it'll just boom back into the same place all right so next up is obviously the recording part now you've got your sizing down the program i use to record and edit is camtasia studio 8 which we have down here and to record it i use camtasia studio recorder which does come with it as well so you want to open it up you don't have to open the program just open up the recorder and just go ahead and obviously once it's opened up there will be a selection on the left hand side of a bunch of different sizes where you want to put it uh, how big you want it stuff like that you can drag it around do whatever you want with it it doesn't really matter just put it wherever you want to put it um but if you go on the drop down arrow go all the way down to the bottom there should be a part where it says uh, like select screen region or select part of the screen to record something like that click on that and then you can hover over any part of the screen it'll outline it just click wherever you want, obviously click on RuneScape or whatever game, browse or whatever thing you're using, uh, click on it and then it'll just record that region. Okay, so now you've got your clips recorded, obviously you want to go ahead, open up your uh, editing software, which I told you guys for me is Camtasia Studio 8, and then you want to go ahead and just import or drag your recorded clip into this part here, which is where all of your clips will go, all your audio files, uh, images, anything like that that you import into here, it'll go into this section here, that's where you find it. Um, just go on to import media and then go wherever else it is if it isn't on your desktop But if it's on your desktop I just find it a lot easier just to drag it in just to save going through all the faff of finding it if you already actually have it So obviously down here you can see there's a bunch of different uh, things you can do But for me, I don't really touch any of these apart from Transitions which I'll get into in just a second and audio sometimes to edit it But starting off on the video file you just want to go ahead and drag it down into this tracks bit down here and as you can see this is pretty much 
what you're going to be seeing. Just a bunch of stuff like this. Uh, whatever clips you recorded are obviously just going to be on the screen. Uh, you can change the size of this by going up here, clicking on the 720p, and you can obviously go ahead and pick whatever size you want to do it on. But like I told you guys, 720p is pretty much the aspect ratio that I like to have it on. So now in terms of editing the clip itself, just go ahead and say for example I didn't want a certain part in, just make sure this is blue and you've got it selected, and then hit S on the keyboard, and it will split it in half. So now you've obviously got a little bit of a gap in between. Now you can skip along a little bit, say I wanted to go straight to this clip here, press S again, just make sure it is selected and in blue, otherwise it won't cut anything. And then you can just drag it, shift it around wherever you want to go, and as you can see, if we just play this a little bit closer to it there, it just skips from clip to clip, which is pretty self-explanatory, you guys probably already know that. Um, adding in transitions, like I told you guys, they're just on here. Pretty again, self-explanatory, you can see what ones you've got going on. The ones I tend to use is Dissolve, because if we add it on like that, and it sort of just, like I said, just dissolves it, I guess. Uh, fading's quite a nice one to have. But, you know, either way, any of these you want to use, uh, obviously just drag it on there. If you want to change how long the transition is, because right now, it's only a second. That is the default where it comes in. But you can make it as long as you want, so it's a six second fade, which is quite long. I wouldn't do that. Um, but obviously, if that's your type of style of editing, then feel free to do it. Uh, or you can make it as short as you want if you just go ahead and drag it a little bit shorter, maybe to half a second or something like that, which is even faster. But that's all down to personal preference and what you really want to do. Alright, so now we've got the basic video editing down. Uh, you know, you've got the basic knowledge on how to transition things, how to cut them, move them around, stuff like that. Um, basically import them, which is all pretty self-explanatory. What you want to do now, obviously, is put some audio in, because it'll be a bit boring if you just had a video playing on its own, being quite quiet. You know, it's not really that much of an entertainment for people, so you want to go ahead and put some audio in. For this video, I'm just going to be using a song which I put in my videos sometimes, uh, this one here. And as you can see, it comes under an audio tab. Uh, each one, like a video file, audio file, or image file, they all come under their own little section, so it doesn't mix them all up. Makes it quite easy, I guess, to navigate around, stuff like that. Um, yeah, what you want to do, again, is just drag it down here. And like before, you can just go ahead and split it. For example, if you just wanted this section here in the video, you can just get rid of the other stuff. But make sure, again, like it's in blue. Otherwise, if you go ahead and try and cut it when nothing's selected, you can see there, nothing's actually been cut. In terms of editing the audio sound, go ahead under audio, pretty self-explanatory, and you can either drag it like this, or go ahead on volume down or volume up. And just a tip for you guys, if you have more than one piece of audio in there, for example like this, and one of them's blue, the other one isn't, even if you're on audio, you can still change the volume of any of the other ones, even if they're not in blue. The ones in blue are literally just counting for if you're using for any of these buttons on this section here. One thing on the audio section which I find pretty useful is if you're making a commentary, you've got some background noise, go ahead on this button up here and tick next to the enable noise removal. Once you've done that, it will pretty much scan all your audio and just put it through a process, doesn't take a long couple of seconds. And yeah, it comes up with this. The adjust sensitivity part tends to do it on 50 automatically. I put it down to about 38, 42 between those two regions because I find 50 blurs out, I guess, in certain areas of audio just because it's trying so hard to get rid of the background noise. That's just what I find, so I tend to do it around 40 and it seems to do it fine. Apart from that, you can pretty much just drag your audio around wherever you want it. And if you want to select all of it, move it at the same time, just go ahead and drag it. If you don't want a certain part, hold down control and just, you know, get rid of it like that. You just move whatever you want around. It's pretty easy. Most of you guys probably know how to do this already. Okay, so now I've covered the basics on how to edit a video. Obviously, if you want to put a commentary on there, you're going to need to know how to do that as well. And the program I use is called Audacity, which is this one here. And what you want to do is just go ahead and select your microphone on this section. I have the blue snowball. And then hit record. And as you can see, it's recording my voice as I do it. That's pretty much it. You just do that press stop. If you want to pause in between, obviously you can just hit record and then press pause. It'll pause it for you. When you press pause again, it'll just pick up from where you left off. And once I've recorded my commentary, I just go ahead up to file, export, and then save it as whatever I want. I'm not going to save it because I don't really need it. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. You just obviously save it, and again, same rules apply. Go ahead and drag it into here. Drag it onto the timeline down here, and just edit, cut it, and do whatever you want to it, pretty much. But there we go, guys. That is how I edit my videos. That's the programs I use, the processes I go through, and all that stuff you guys have been asking me about. Hopefully that clears it up for you guys, and you know, it wasn't too confusing for you. If you did enjoy it, give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe, all that cool stuff for more videos. I have got a couple of other ideas for tutorial videos. I'm going to do a background one for the banner for YouTube and Twitter and I'm also going to do one for the thumbnails of my videos because I have been asked for those as well uh, so yeah hopefully look forward to those guys uh, like again hopefully you have enjoyed it thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one